Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here, and welcome to this episode of Game Guides, where I'm going to be going over how to take out chariots in Rome Total War. So we're going to take a look at chariots as a whole here, and discuss what their weaknesses are, and how we can exploit those weaknesses. So the first thing I notice when I look at chariots, which by the way are available to the factions of Britannia, Egypt, Pontus, and the Seleucids, is that they have no armor. Chariots as a whole have no armor and have very low defense. The highest defense I've ever seen chariots have is three. So how do they make up for this? Well, they have multiple hit points. Chariots have either two or three or four hit points, depending on what type of chariots they are. And this means that you're going to have to get multiple hits in on them to be able to kill them. If they didn't have any hit point, like if they just had the normal one hit point, then a single arrow would take out a chariot. But because of the multiple hit points, it's going to take a few arrows to take them out. So let's discuss now how to take them out. Well, the first best way to take them out is with ranged units. Personally, I think archers are the best at this. You can start hitting the chariots while they are still a good distance away from your troops with archers. And if your archers use fire arrows, they can make scythe chariots run amok. Now, Scythe Chariots are only available to Pontus and the Seleucids. No other chariots will run amok if you fire fire arrows at them. But if you're fighting one of those two factions and they have Scythe Chariots in their armies, use fire arrows against them. Because if they run amok, they will start doing damage to their own army and killing just massive amounts of troops in their own forces if you can get them to run amok. And that's hugely valuable in a battle. And you'll see me do this sometimes in my campaign as the Broody Eye when I'm fighting Pontus in the east. It's, it's great when you can get one of these chariot units to start running and basically just wiping out their own army. Other ranged units do well also, but obviously the range isn't as far. So, for instance, Peltists get a big plus six bonus to their ranged attack when they're throwing their spears at chariots. So you might think immediately, well, that's valuable. Why wouldn't I just use Peltus against chariots? And the reason for that is because their range is so bad and chariots are pretty fast-moving troops. It's going to be hard to get a lot of throws in on chariots with Peltus. Same thing goes for infantry. Like, if you're playing as the Romans and your infantry have Pila that you can throw, these will do massive amounts of damage to chariots. But you might only get one volley of your spears in before the chariots come smashing into your front lines. So I think archers are the best way to take them out. Archers will decimate chariots at range. And even if they don't take out a lot of the chariots before they get to your troops, what they'll do is eliminate the extra hit points that these chariots have before they make contact with your infantry. So that I think that's really valuable. The second way is going to be using a phalanx. Phalanx units, if you're playing as a faction that has access to phalanx units, will just absolutely demolish chariots if you can get the chariots to charge your phalanx unit. Now, obviously, this doesn't happen that often, but in city battles, this can be really effective too because you're able to funnel enemy chariots into very narrow pathways in the city that you can form a phalanx in. And the chariot just won't stand a chance. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about this because it's pretty much the same with all cavalry units. They're terrible against the phalanx. If you charge a phalanx, they will die. So that is what it is. If you have a phalanx and and you use it effectively against chariots, they will just drop like flies the moment they hit your spears. The third major way is really to just kind of swarm them with your troops. Chariots are strongest when they're moving fast. They have a really high charge bonus and pretty good attack. So if you can get them to stop running and just trap them in a mass of troops, they're going to be pretty easy to take down. Like if you let them just come right into your infantry or you just tell all your infantry to swarm them, that'll be pretty good. They'll probably get a pretty good amount of kills right off the bat, but once you get them to stop moving, they're pretty much worthless and your infantry will be able to just start hacking away at them with their swords or spears or whatever they have and take them down pretty good. Also, this does sort of work with cavalry. I mean, if you have a ton of cavalry, sure. But as a rule of thumb, never ever use cavalry against chariots. You'll see me in my campaigns use cavalry sometimes against chariots. And when I do it, I'm usually like, I know this is a bad idea. 
but I don't care if I lose a lot of these guys. I'll just retrain them anyway, and I just charge if I have a huge numerical advantage. Like, if I have, you know, eight units of cavalry charging one unit of chariots, I'll win that fight. But I'm going to take heavy losses, because chariots just decimate cavalry. So, if you're kind of more in an evenly matched uh, scenario, like, you know, similar amount of chariots versus cavalry, do not use your cavalry, because they will just be destroyed. So, just to recap, the best method, using ranged units, primarily archers, but peltis and spear-throwing infantry do work very well also. Second, use phalanxes if you have access to them. Every faction can use phalanxes because they're available as a mercenary unit, but obviously if you're playing as a faction that has them as their primary units, like Greece, then your, your whole army is going to be made up with them. Third is if you're in a faction that doesn't have access to a phalanx unit, then it might be worth sort of sacrificing a unit of your infantry to stall the chariots and remove their charge bonus, and then just swarm them with the rest of your infantry. So I hope you all found this video informative and it'll help you out in your campaigns. I want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.